We are working on Donnelly today and um, trying to see. Okay. And uh, this is the way it's recommended to do it, but I think I'm going to start using another. This reach right here is not. This reach right here is not natural for me. Okay, so I'm going to start trying something else. That's a little more natural for me. And if you have big hands. problem because you, you probably have a, a, a real comfortable reach there. About another quarter of an inch to a half an inch would make all the difference in the world. Now that's with that's with the uh, that's with uh, this reach right here. But look at the difference if I do this one right here. Now everything has to be timed because this is not natural. I do it the old way, and I'm going to try it the, the other way. Okay. Now, this comes over here. Now, you have to time it a different. This is, has to, that, that has to move, and it has to go over pretty fast. Okay. Here we go. That's almost, almost, there's no, there's no gap. See the difference? You hear that? It's almost like I took a rest, you know, like there was an extra tie or something in there. And you can speed it up, but it's not natural to do that. Where you, <coughs> I could actually slow it down on the one hand, <coughs> speed it up, and then play it back at the, at the, uh, at a little bit faster speed and you probably wouldn't notice that, okay? And that's not right, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this, slow it down. Because whatever you do, uh, slow is eventually gonna be incorporated with your muscle memory. Your, your muscles actually, I don't know what it is. I don't know the theory behind it, but I do know that I have uh, not played a piece for a long time, whether it's guitar or piano. Like, say, for instance, I haven't played a piece of uh, The Claw or something by Jerry Reed, or I haven't played a piece like um, uh, Classical Gas, or I haven't played a piece like uh, Beret and, uh, and I think that's how you pronounce it, E minor. Uh, it's a classical song, okay? And, uh, but for some reason, you sometimes play it better than ever. Your brain has been working on that. It's amazing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the, uh, it's like, uh, I do, I used to do this a lot of times. I used to do this, but I, I ran out of, there is nothing over there. You have to imagine I'm doing it. But I, I was taught that. My piano teacher, when I was 10 years old, about 50 something years ago, let's just say 50, okay? And uh, no, it wasn't 50, but it was a long time ago, okay? Um, but I was taught, and uh, you know, that's where I learned that boogie, you know? And uh, so, you know, and I hadn't done it in years, because usually I go like this, and various versions of that, okay? But that's not what I was doing. I was, and that's really easy for me because I've done it so long. That's just a C6, and you, let, you, you go from a C6 to F7, uh, F7 flat 9. Okay, so anyways, getting back to this lesson, because this is a challenge for me.
I actually am doing this because I know a lot of people need this other than me, but I also know uh, that I'm doing it for actually to learn this on the guitar because I wasn't feeling natural on the guitar on it. And I see that that's still holding off on that right there, okay? So, you know, like this right here. We're going to try this. We're going to go G, A flat, G, F, Okay. It almost sounds like um, you ever heard that before? <laughs> okay. So that's the first part. G, A flat, G. Now this is the triplet. Triplet. And it starts out on this, and you're actually starting out in the music on Donnelly at three and a. Three and a four and 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 one and three and a three and a four and one and okay and a four and one and two and okay I see where I brought this that finger over I've got to get used to coming over even if my body has to move to one side a little bit like that you know. Okay, now, I, now that's an easier reach for me. Okay? This right here is not as natural a reach for me. Okay? See, that's not as natural a reach, but this is. Okay? This is a very nice thing to play if you can kind of get some kind of system going. Okay, now let me think about this. This right here is a G, and that's an A flat, and that's a G, and that's an F, and that's an E. So that almost is like uh, it's almost like you're playing the A flat scale, but you've got a sharp pour in there. I don't know if that's Liddy or not. I, I think it's Lydian. You got a sharp pour off of a one. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not an expert on, but I just you know I just think it's such a weird note. It doesn't go with the scale, okay? Okay, anybody that's an expert on that, on uh, Lydian, uh, I can look it up. Okay, so that's the first part. Now that's how fast uh, Charlie Parker did it. You know, you see. That's how fast you did. So you got this right here. And that comes over. It does kind of fit in the hands very nicely. Here would be and that's the way I used to do it. Three and okay. Three and three and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three. naturally and you want to work with this you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this in all 12 keys and get it right I'm no I'm kind of slurring that a little bit now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right there and you got to move this over the same time all in one movement so this has got to be here There 
is a slight bit of movement here that's not happening right. was the E natural, okay? D flat, okay? All still staying, all in A major seven, and then a C with a thumb. And I use, because what I've been trying to say here is it's really hard uh, not to use, well, if I use this, I've got I've got to hear that. You know, there's a, there's a hole there. Just, okay, so I go here, I'm, it's a little faster, excuse me. Hear that? That's almost not natural, but this is, and we'll get all the details as far as sloppiness goes. We'll, that's another thing is too, I don't worry about sloppiness too much at first. I kind of get the speed down and then I worry about perfection. about perfection right now. This is practice. And it's not working out very good. So I think I would need to go like that. Almost a swing movement. And another thing they do, instead of going like this, with, if you're having a problem with that, you can go like... works with fingers and that's a triplet up there okay that's a triplet there and uh, so let's see here that's a triplet and it beautiful I've had it for a long time wrote something for another video creator on the back okay See how that have to, to hold that? Now that G flat, A flat to G, back to uh, G flat. That's that's a that's a triplet, and it can be done like this. Let's see. It, with these two fingers. 